Welcome to Education Matters, the video magazine of the Association of School Business Officials of New York, or ASPO New York. This program covers issues impacting public education across New York State. I'm Mike Borges, Executive Director of ASPO New York, the organization representing over 2,000 members that work in the business offices of school districts and BOCES all over the state. School business officials are the education CFOs, the chief financial officers of school districts and BOCES. They are responsible for developing budgets, financing capital projects, payroll, developing long-range plans, and overseeing facilities, transportation, and food service departments. Our video magazine, Education Matters, will inform the public, education stakeholders, and public policymakers about the many roles of the school business official and the varied issues they deal with on a daily basis. Education has probably been one of the few areas where technology has not been fully utilized. The Smart Schools Commission studied this. I am convinced this is the right direction for the state. I am convinced this is the single best thing we can do to get New York up that list in terms of performance. It's all about doing the best we can for our children who deserve the best. Christina Coughlin, Coordinator for Educational Management Services at the New York State Education Department, is here today to talk about the Smart Schools Bond Act. Christina, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me, Michael. I appreciate it. So, um, where are we with Smart Schools? So, we've received about 150 Smart Schools investment plans through the, through the business portal at State Ed, and those are in various stages of review. What happens when they first come in is that they get a, sort of a review for completeness, and most of them go through that stage pretty easily and then the different program offices that have an interest like the Educational Technology Office or the Office of Facilities Planning take a look. Once it gets through that phase then it comes back to Educational Management Services for a budget review. There are a lot of plans at that stage right now. That's the part that's really taking a long time. And then we've had about 50 make it through that stage through to uh, forwarding to the, review, to the remainder of the review board at that point. So the ones that are in the budget the budget check place. <laughs> That's the hardest one really for us because we're, we're having to look in very careful detail uh, at what the expenditures are that are proposed and to make sure that they're eligible for, for tax exempt bond financing and making sure that the prices are reasonable and so on and so forth. So that's, that's the place where we're really focusing our efforts right now to move as many plans through. So what kind of things does the Bond Act pay for? Well there are big categories in the Bond Act. So things like you know, classroom devices, connectivity investments, security investments, high-tech security investments, um, uh, replacement of transportable classroom units, and um, pre-K classrooms. So those are the big pieces. And then you know, within those, there's really a large range of things that we're seeing. But mo you know, obviously, because it's bond finance, it's got to be capital expenditures. So devices are OK, hardware, wiring, connectivity, things like wireless access points, servers, all those things are eligible. Things like software and the professional development to use those devices is ineligible. So that's the place where we're having to look really closely and that's really the slowdown point for us. So like things like laptops, iPads, uh, Lots of those. whiteboards, mm -hmm. things like that yeah. can be used. Um, do you see a trend? Is there like, um, do most school districts are applying for that part of it or is it more like the facilities part of it? We're seeing a lot of those two big chunks. We're seeing a lot of facility stuff, and that would be the connectivity investments and the security. So those are the we haven't seen anything on the pre-K yet. We haven't seen anything on the transportable classroom units, but the the security piece there's, there's a fair amount of work in that, which is good news to us. And then the connectivity investments are the big one. So security, what, what kind of projects are fall under security? Um, you know, d doors that have passes and things like that. But, so it's high tech stuff. It's not the, a lock on a door. It's a, an electronic lock on a door and systems that go through the building to make sure that, you know, that if there's a lockdown, you can shut down various building doors along the way or intercom things and things like that. Communica communication stuff through the building. So the, the Bond Act was passed by voters in November of 2014. It was two billion dollars. And so, when do you think that school districts will start? Um, uh, seeing the money and how soon when these projects are approved do you see the school districts are actually receiving the money? So they have to, it's a reimbursement based program so we will notify districts the minute the, the review boards met and approve their plans 
and uh, you know, we will literally run across the street <laughs> to, <laughs> to notify them. And once they, once they know that, they can go out and spend the dollars. And we, we have also built a system for reimbursing them so that they'll come back into the SED business portal, make a claim for you know, a thousand Chromebooks or whatever it was that they purchased, and then we'll be able to flow those funds pretty quickly. Cause so uh, so as a reimbursable project then, so the, the school districts had to budget for these within their tax caps or outside of their tax caps? It was excluded from the tax cap calculation. So that way they can afford to do these things without having to go to the voters and get them that right. plurality, the 60% majority. Exactly. In fact, the, I mean, the, because it was a statewide referendum, the, the theory is that it's already been approved by the voters. So those expenditures are sort of accepted out of the calculation. Well, thank you for having uh, this discussion. It's great to have you on board here, and uh, um, I look forward to having you on the show again. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care.